show you today is a resource called Question Well. Question Well is a way for you to take uh, different items and turn it into something that you can use in like some of the Google Forms, Quizlet, Quizzes, uh, or even Google Slides. Now this is a freemium website, so there's some features that are free and there's some that are paid. Um, so I'll kind of show you those as we go along. But basically the idea is I have something like this. So here I have a Google Doc that contains my introduction to Greek mythology. Now, I'll be honest, I created this with ChatGPT, but just so that I would have something to show you with. Um, so if there's anything wrong in here, I'm sorry, uh, but I just wanted to give it as a demo. So if I have this document and I wanna create a little uh, check for understanding, I wanna make sure students are understanding what we're talking about. And so I wanna do like a Google, little Google form quiz. So I'll log in here. Now I'm already logged in with a Google account. Uh, you can sign in with different ways, but I always like to use the sign with Google just cause it's pretty fast. Now in here, this is where you see some of the freemium stuff that comes up. I can pick between five, 10 or 20 questions. You have to have the pro version to do the 20. You can see in here, the only free option is multiple choice. Now there is a little trick I'll show you in a minute where you can actually get short answer questions for free. And here you could say what you're looking for. You could select the language and the grade level. Otherwise, you can say I want it based on something. So in here, I can paste some text. Now note, you are limited to 1000 uh, words that you put in. Um, but you can kind of get around that by using the website trick. Now note, you'll see the lightning bolts here for file and your own quiz. Those are those freemium ones. But since a Google Doc can be made into a website, you can use the website feature. So what I'll do is I'll go file and I'll say share and publish to web. So I might have to hit start publishing here, but I already have mine going because I was just demoing this before. I'm going to copy my link. I'll come to question well, paste in that link and go. Now you could use the link to other resources that you had available but this is just one I thought would be kind of cool. So I can see here, it pulled my text in. I'll hit save, and then I'll hit generate. Now this part can take a little while. Um, it kind of depends on, I think, how many people are really using the website. So you might find you come here and it takes a little bit. As it's doing that, just a couple of things I want to kind of share with you is that there are th lots of ways that you can export a question well. Um, and I'll show you that here. but. The big ones I want to highlight for you today are Google Forms and Google Slides, just because a lot of people are asking how you can use AI to bring things in uh, to kind of the Googleverse uh, for free. And so that's what I want to talk about. So the little robot will kind of keep sitting there and thinking until it generates all the variety of questions that it's going to have. If you find that it takes quite a long time, it's not a bad thing to open up another tab and you can browse the internet, find a, a good deal on Amazon or somewhere, and then come back and you'll see it set. But now I can see it came up. What you see highlighted, highlighted parts are the ones that it's using uh, for the questions over here. You can see it actually gives you learning outcomes. It gives you a variety of questions. And note you can take any of these and retype them if you don't like the way it's worded. There is also a discussion tab here, and this is where I said, uh, when it asked you that you wanted you to pay for uh, essay questions, obviously you don't have to because you could actually just use these guys right here. Now, I want to take these and turn it into a Google Form. So I'm going to say select all the questions because I want to use all 10. There is an export feature. And once I go to export, these are all the different options that you have. So some of the popular ones like Quizzes, Kahoot, uh, Blicklets, I see lots of those ones out there. Uh, even a Socrative, but let's look at Google Forms and Google Slides. Now, it, there is a question mark next to these if you're not sure how to get them into them. Uh, they'll walk you through it, but most are pretty simple. So for example, Google Forms, I can click the download button. Our little friendly robot comes back on, and normally this part goes by a lot faster. So it said that it did it, I'm gonna hit view. Since Question Well is the one that made the form, I have to make a copy for myself. And this goes into my Google Drive then. And I can see all the questions are in here. 
uh, and it actually brings it in as a quiz. So you can see there's actually an, an answer key here. You would see that if you went to settings, you could see that it made it actual quiz. So you could turn things on if you are using the lock mode. Um, you can go into Google Classroom, assign this as a quiz, uh, and then it will lock students to that. So this is an option that you have. But really quickly, you can see how it was able to take those and bring them in uh, here. Something that you can use for a check for understanding or other purposes. Now, I want to highlight the Google Slides one too because I thought that's pretty cool. If I come to export, I'll say Google Slides. Now, when it exports it as a Google Slide, it will be kind of the same way. You have to make a copy. You can add your own formatting this afterwards because uh, it comes in just a good old blank kind of slide deck. But you see it has all the different questions that are in it. So you could display this up on your room uh, for students to see, and you would be able to have a discussion as you go along with this. If your school does have something like Pear Deck, you could actually open up the Pear Deck add-on. And you could turn this in actual into a pair deck uh, that you could use and check for students understanding as you went along so that's question well a nice kind of free resource that you can use um, to kind of bridge that gap between ai and your google verse or whatever uh, different program you want to use um, but it's a good option and resource to have in your tool belt i hope you enjoy this and have a great day